Hi everyone, it's Mike with the Astro Explorers again, and I'm here to get us on the next step, and that is actually taking photographs of the night sky. Uh, tonight we're going to start real simple with something you probably have in your hand or pocket or you're watching this video with right now, and that is your cell phone. So I've got two ways. One you've probably already done, and if you have, you're already a astrophotographer, so congratulations. And the second way is actually going to be using the Celestron phone holder. Uh, I'll have a link to it in the description below. But with these two options, you should be able to take some nice pictures of the night sky. Uh, right now, I do have the telescope pointed at Jupiter. Uh, we're a little low in the night sky, so I'm going to try to get those images here pretty soon. I didn't go through the process of aligning the telescope, but you can go ahead and take a look at that video over here. I use the sky align process using the handheld controller. Um, I did not use my laptop. I did not use the sky portal dongle or the cell phone app for this one. I just wanted to get out here, get set up and get moving pretty quickly. So that's what I did for this one. And if you're new to these videos, be sure to check out my first video, how to set up your Celestron telescope. So without further ado, I'll go over a couple pointers on using your cell phone, how to set up the Celestron phone holder, and uh, we'll get a couple pictures, see what they look like, and I'll share them here in this video. All right, so the easiest thing to do is just grab your cell phone, go to your camera app, just like you're taking a picture anywhere else, and we're basically just going to hold it up to the eyepiece. Uh, so it's easier if you start a little far away and then just slowly move forward with the camera or with the eyepiece in the center. And you just want to go real smooth and real slow as you try to center that eyepiece and that camera lens. And then once you're able to see what you want to take a picture of, just push the button. Unfortunately, when you are holding it with your hand, that can be a little difficult. And you can see here that we've got a little halo there. So we're not able to capture everything very, I mean, it's accurate. We're seeing it, but it is difficult to get a good astro picture. Um, and that's what the handheld or the Celestron phone holder is for, is we can align it, we can set a little timer on our phone, and then we can take the picture. So I'm gonna take another picture of the moon just so we have a good idea. We can compare those images and see what we think. So I'm gonna turn around, align the telescope with the moon real fast, and then we'll get an image. All right, so the telescope's rotated around, uh, alignment's working great, the moon is pretty much centered right in our eyepiece without having to make any adjustments. So that's awesome. And again, I'm just going to open my camera app. I'm just using a old um, Samsung S9. Uh, so I'm just going to come in again, kind of start a little ways back and the moon is much, much brighter than Jupiter. So I might have a little bit hard time focusing here. There we go. And what I might end up needing to do is having the phone adjust on the brightness because the moon is very, very bright in the night sky. But again, I'm having a hard time holding everything still so I can see it and get good images. But what I'll do is I'll get a couple images here just holding it with my hand and we'll compare those with the images used with the Celestron phone holder here in a moment. All right, so I'm pointed back at Jupiter and we now have the Celestron phone holder. So I'm going to use this, attach it to our eyepiece, and then use the phone and see what kind of different results we get. And see if it's any easier than using my hand to hold. 
Uh, you'll see here that we've got this clamp and what that clamp's going to do is that's going to attach to your eyepiece. So you just kind of hold it on or open, attach, and then it'll attach. And with that clamp, if you're looking at it, you'll see this orange screw. And what you'll want to do is just tighten that down and that's going to tighten the clamp so that it's not moving. And then your cell phone is just going to slide in here. So we'll pull it apart, slide it in, and then what you're wanting to do is make sure that your lens, your camera lens, is going through here where you're attaching it to your eyepiece. Uh, you also have two knobs here. These are going to control your up and down and left to right, and then you have this knob right here and that's going to increase or it's going to lower the phone towards the eyepiece or raise it from the eyepiece. So with those items uh, you should be able to position your camera lens pretty well into the eyepiece and lock it down and then you should get the shaking that I get at least when I'm trying to take pictures of the night sky. So I'm going to spend a moment try to get this on and then we'll get some images and compare those to our shaky hands. The other thing you want to make sure is that your eyepiece is nice and tight and it's not wiggling around. And I'm just going to start trying to position this so that I can line the camera lens into the eyepiece. So I'm using the up and down knobs to position. I can see Jupiter here and I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting a good focus. And the other thing you can do is a lot of cameras have professional settings so you can lower the ISO or raise the ISO and that should give you a little bit more control on what you're seeing. So if you're looking at Jupiter, maybe you're not blowing it out so much. And I'm just going to do a couple quick test images, see what we get. And then I'm going to go ahead and point to the moon and get some images of the moon. All right, so I've got a couple of test images. I'm gonna go ahead and point at the moon and we'll continue this uh, video here in a moment. All right, so we've turned the telescope around. We're <laughs> pointing pretty high up at the moon now and we are nice smack dab centered in our eyepiece. And I'll go ahead and show that to you so that you can see as well. So I know it's going to be a little bit blown out. There we go. So that is the moon there right on my cell phone. And you can see it just attached. And if we look up, we can see the moon there in the night sky. So it is nice and bright. But if we go back to our telescope and look at our cell phone, we can see the handheld controller is holding it nice and steady. We've got a good look on it. And I think that's actually working quite well. So with that, the handheld controller is working great for the moon. Uh, if you're like me and you have a little hard time viewing things with your eyeballs um, because of glasses, um, this can be a nice way just to be able to look. It was giving me a little bit of a harder time when I was looking at Jupiter. Uh, just the cell phone has a hard time picking out the small dots. But if you're wanting to look at the moon, it looks great there. So I think that's a fantastic way to take images and look at items in the night sky. 
I'm going to go ahead, take a couple images. We can compare it to when I was just using my hand to hold it. And then uh, we'll take a look at those as well. All right, so here's some images that I have taken uh, both holding the camera myself on my cell phone and then using the Celestron uh, phone holder as well. So you can see for Jupiter, it's basically the same. Um, I'm just not able to get very good images with it. And for that, that's kind of to be expected, but that's okay because there are tools that I'll go over with here in the future to show uh, what type of camera to use, what kind of imaging to use. Uh, we actually use something called Lucky Imaging where we take a video and process that versus just using still frames from say a cell phone or from a DSLR. So that'll be in a future video. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, but if you're looking at these two images side by side, there's not a lot of difference there. Um, sure, the one that's on the Celestron holder is a little bit more centered, is a little bit more steady, but again, it's just not quite there. As for the moon, using the holder for the moon, you can see I'm getting a much better image of the moon. It's crisper, it's filling the screen more, I'm not getting that halo. So if you're doing pictures of the moon, then yes, the holder works great. Um, if you're wanting to maybe share images, if you have people wanting to come by and look, and instead of everyone just looking at it through the eyepiece, although the eyepiece is very fun to look at, uh, everyone could just look at it off the cell phone and stand around looking at it that way. I also have two bonus images. Um, one is of Orion Nebula or M42, Messier 42. And you can see it is one's handheld and the other one's with the Celestron holder. And you can see I'm actually getting better image with the Celestron uh, holder. It's not great, it's not perfect. I don't do a lot of practice with my cell phone imaging. I know there's some people out there who do remarkable images using their cell phone. Um, but I've moved pretty quickly from using my cell phone to using a DSLR and then using a dedicated astro camera. And those will be future videos. In fact, the DSLR will be my next video and how to attach it to your telescope. So keep an eye out for that one here in the future. But you can see I'm able to get better images with a dedicated holder for my cell phone. So if that's something that you're looking at, if you don't have a DSLR right now or you're not looking at getting a dedicated astro camera, this might be something you want to get just to tide you over for a little bit. If you do have a DSLR or if you are wanting to get a dedicated astro camera, I would probably skip this. It's going to be just easier and more fun using your DSLR attached to it. Uh, but this is not a bad way to go. So keep an eye out for those future videos on how to use the DSLR or a dedicated astro camera. But I do have the link to this holder in the description. So if you want to take a look at it, please do. And again, if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Or if you have any tips or tricks you want to share with the rest of the community, leave them there in the comments as well. In the meantime, I hope you all have a great night, clear skies, and happy star hunting.